Okay, well, welcome to this video. This was a video that was promised on our March 19th uh, webcast. And we're pleased to have Jarrett Lehner with us, who's very knowledgeable about our Q Global platform, to show some examples of what our Q Global materials, our digital materials, look like online. And he's going to show you. Um, materials that are used by speech pathologists. We'll have several different videos where we show you materials for other professionals. So Jarrett, take it away. Thank you, Nancy, and hello, everybody. As mentioned, what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk through Q Global today, taking a look at some of our digital materials we have on the platform. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna share my screen with you today, and we're actually gonna walk through it together so we can get a good sense of what's going to be required of you navigating through the platform. So what I've done is I've actually gone ahead and shared my screen with you now, and this is the landing page that we see when we log into Q Global. It's simply our home screen. And when we are talking about some of the digital materials, and these could be stimulus books, manuals, or maybe even um, some instructions on how to get started or proceed with specific test items, we're going to want to focus on the resource library and what the resource library is it's actually a collection of these documents again manuals stimulus books but even more it contains some sample reports and even some additional instructions as available but when we're talking about these digital um, resources what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and we're going to see that we have folders labeled after each assessment so if i scroll down if i find the cell five right here i'm going to expand it and we're going to see that I have some folders available detailing the materials available. So, for example, kind of working our way down, the first one I see right here is for my cell five verbal stimulus PDF. And if I go ahead and click on it, it's going to open up a new tab of my web browser displaying the instructions for these test items. Now, the nice thing for this resource is that it is a PDF that you can both save and or print off at your convenience. So I see the options right here in the upper corner of my screen. So it gives you the flexibility based on what makes the most sense for you and your practice. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna jump back right to the resource tab and take a quick look at the examiner's manual, and then we're gonna look at the stimulus book as well. Now, to access either one of these resources, we're gonna do the exact same thing we did with the verbal stimulus. We're gonna click on it. It's gonna open up a new tab of our web browser, again, just like the verbal stimuli document, and here is my manual. I'm going to make it a bit smaller so we can see a bit more of it on the page. And the nice thing about accessing these resources on Q Global is that it is very much just a digital version of the manual. Nothing else has changed, but we have added a few benefits for you to make navigating through this digital document a bit easier. I'm just kind of starting right here. We're just going to scroll down a bit. Again, nothing new here for those familiar with the cell five. We can see our acknowledgments page again, just like we see in the book. If we scroll down a bit, what we're going to see right here is our table of contents. And one of the big benefits of using a digital um, manual in this case is the fact that all of these resources are all, are all hyperlinked within the document itself. So, for example, maybe I want to go down and take a look at the test components. I can go ahead and actually click on this. And it's going to bring me, bring me right to that page within the document itself. So like I can take a look and see, you know, the examiner's manual, the technical manual, and even about the stimulus book one and two. And again, this is a great resource. It makes it easily navigatable so we can find quick help for our questions. Now, jumping back to the Q Global tab, again, I'm just navigating through the tabs up here. We're going to see our final part that I want to talk about for the self and that's our digital stimulus book. So when we click on it, just like the examiner's manual before, it's gonna open up that new tab of my web browser, displaying the stimulus book. Now, while this is just like the paper version, again, nothing's different, just like with the manual, we have a few added benefits. We can actually see, there we go, we can actually see that we have this button right here, and this is how we're gonna navigate from page to page. Just like with the manual, we have all of our contents right here hyperlinked. So if I want to go ahead and click on sentence comprehension, it's going to bring me right to that subtesting and I can navigate from page to page. As we're navigating throughout the subtest, at any time we need to go back to the table of contents, 
Maybe we finished some sentence comprehension. It's time to move on to the next subtest. You're going to see this home button at the bottom of the page, and that's going to bring you right back to where you need to go. So again, we can click on the subtest title to navigate to that subtest page, or we can click on the age. It brings us right to the demo item, and we're good to go. Now, that's actually a quick example of the self, but just to show you how easy it is with all of our assessments that have these digital resources, I'm going to scroll down just a bit and pick on the GFTA3 right here as an example. So I'm just going to go ahead and look at these folders. Again, we have a lot of great information. Again, I have another document that looks at the verbal stimuli right here for the GFTA3. We're going to see that it opens up the document, again, providing additional information when using the digital stimulus book. And again, we're going to see a lot of similar themes as we walk through these assessments, especially with our speech products here on Q Global. We're accessing the resources from the resource library, and then we're able to administer the test digitally, in this case, with our digital stimulus books. But navigating back really quick, just so we get a nice comparison, we have our digital stimulus book here for the GFTA3 as well. We're going to click on it, get that new tab of our web browser, and we're good to go. So again, we're able to navigate from page to page, and we can start exactly where we need to. All right, everybody. That's Again, that's just a brief snapshot of using some of our digital resources within the resource library on Q Global. As mentioned, we plan on having additional videos that talk about some of the system navigation throughout the platform later on, and we hope to talk to you then. Take care, everyone. Thanks, Jared. Really appreciate you walking us through that. And as he said, we'll be looking at, we'll be preparing additional videos showing you different examples of materials used by educators and psychologists and OTs. Have a good day.